we, we become a, a sovereign country, no longer occupied by, by foreign countries. Uh, and then we uh, adopt a presidential system. So the head of uh, uh, government and the head of state is Mr. Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, our president today. The constitution is, we call, we call it the constitution, a 1945 constitution, yeah, related to our proclamation. And we have Pancasila as our national ideology. Next. Mm -hmm. And we are a country that uh, it is a democratic country and we live in harmony amongst the the, the, the six religions and also amongst the ethnics and uh, ethnics uh, and uh, local uh, people uh, that we have uh, around our provinces, around 17,000 islands. You can see that? Uh -huh. That is the uh, religious leader from the six uh, religions. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned already that there are religions in the six religions. There is, ch uh, is a, a mosque, church, temple, and also uh, uh, several temples. Uh, Buddhism temple, uh, Hinduism temple, and Confucianism temple, Biara, or we call it Biara. But I don't know in English, yeah? Uh, Fihara, Fihara. Fihara is in... Buddhism term. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I mentioned before we have a national philosophy. That is uh, five consists of five uh, basic philosophy. First is is a belief in the one and the only God, the Almighty. Secondly, just and civilized humanity, or we can simply say humanity. Thirdly, the unity of Indonesia or nationalism of Indonesia. And the number four is democracy guided by the inner wisdom and the unanimity arising out of the alterations amongst representatives. Democracy is there. Uh, the, the number five is uh, social justice for the people of Indonesia. This is our national philosophy that we adopt since 1945. Next. History of democracy. We have uh, stages when we formed the, 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 the government. And we follow democracy, first parliamentary democracy after independence, 1949 to 1957. And then we have guided democracy, the era of our president Sukarno, the first president. Uh, it was in 1957 to 1965. Pancasila democracy under the uh, President Soharto, 1966 to 1998, and democracy after political reform. We started our reform in 1998. I understand that Georgia started take the reform in 2004. Yeah, we we, we were in 1998. Next, macroeconomic reforms. So, at that time, in 1998, 1990% actually, we suffered really a crisis. So, so many experts in the world predicted us as a uh, failed state because of the situation, very bad, bitter ex uh, situation at that time. But uh, thanks God that we could survive at that time. Why? Because we uh, adopt uh, policy, government policy, that they are they are there to break up monopolies that we uh, from the quite sometimes we uh, follow that kind of uh, system and then we close defunct banks and we sit away from patronage system to democratic system. I can say that before political reform we have only three political parties. But now we have 48 political parties. Yeah, it is. Uh, it can see. Yeah, from the, uh, the, the the progress that we are more democratic than before. Okay, next. 
progress. Indonesia's democracy has grown from time to time. We are still in the process of, uh, uh, what is it, uh, to have kind of a better uh, democratic system in Indonesia. Yeah. And then we have three peaceful periodic national elections, as I mentioned before, 1999 direct elections, 2004 and 2009. We are proud to settle our conflict the quite all time, hundreds and hundreds of years actually. But it bitter in the year of 1945 uh, onward. There is a conflict in Anangro Aceh Darussalam. They are going to separate themselves from our uh, sovereignty. Our, uh, yeah, they are not going to be as our uh, people, our, uh, what is it? Uh, yes, our people, uh, they want to have their own uh, uh, nation, yeah, to separate from Indonesian nation. But uh, thanks God, we can uh, uh, solve the problem and now they, are, they become our part. Yeah, uh, of uh, Indonesian uh, people. And then we also pursue political and economic reforms in Papua. We have also problem in Papua, you, maybe you know already, Papua, yeah. They want to separate also, but nowadays it's it, it, it longer because they know that uh, it is difficult when they, they, part, they are parted uh, from Indonesia. Okay, next. Uh, how we do also to kind of adopt a democratic uh, nation, we try to uphold human rights. Yeah? Here, we prioritize human rights. We, we are the only country that have a national commission on human rights. The only country. Because we, as I mentioned before, uh, we, uh, we, we, we honor, we uh, uphold uh, human rights. And we try to not to absolutely uh, give uh, more power to central government because it, is, it creates a problem to the uh, local governments. So we divide central government and local government system, decentralization system. And we are the country that could show to the world that Islam, democracy, and modernity can grow together, can work hand in hand. And we are also, we are also the country that promotes gender equality and bring more uh, women into politics. We used to have president, lady, woman, woman president, Mrs. Megawati Sukarno Putri, in the year of 2001 to 2003. So uh, we can show to the uh, world that we, we honor gender equality in this country. Okay. Next. <laughs> Development. We are the third highest growth rate among G20 countries after China and India. So in the year of 2008, so there, are, there were also crises, world crises, global crises, but we survived. And we, are, we can uh, you know, uh, show the, the world that our economic growth uh, is around 5.95 uh, months taken at that time, while the other contracted. Yeah? We are survived uh, with China and India, behind China and India. Yeah? Here you can see that percentage of 5.9 to 6 uh, percent. By 2009 and uh, uh, 2012, the project, our project the projection of the economic growth is growth is 6.7 percent. And for the period 2011 to, and 2016, the internal International Monetary Fund (IMF) predicts that growth, our economic growth, will be 5.7 percent. Uh, when we refer to economic development, we have non-oil export valued at 129 billion US dollars in 2010, and then agriculture being the backbone of our economy and our food.
global security continues to strengthen. Foreign exchange reserves have reached an unprecedented high of $78 billion. Our debt GDP ratio went down to an unprecedented low of 27.8% uh, and poverty rate continues to decline and credit rating keeps rising. This is our progress, our development currently. Yeah. Next, our foreign policy. When we refer to our foreign policy, we uh, adopt a free and active foreign policy. We have three pillars of Indonesian United Cabinet. We call it uh, our cabinet uh, uh, under the president Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono is an Indonesian United Cabinet. Chapter two, because there is chapter, there was chapter one in 19, to, eh, 2000, 2004 to 2009, and then uh, he is re-elected in 2009 until then. We follow prosperity, democracy, and justice. And of course, uh, the aim is to protecting all the Indonesian citizens and maintaining territorial integrity. Okay. Next. Why we call it active and independent policy? Because we are actively participating in achieving world order based upon independence, eternal peace, and social justice. And we are not only become as a bridge builder, but also part of the solution. We wish that we could do that. Yeah? Uh, uh, that it, it needs process for that. Yes, next. Upholding principle of one million friends and zero enemy. Yes. In bilateral diplomacy, in the multilateral diplomacy, in a regional diplomacy. Yeah. You can see there. Yeah. I'm not uh, going to explain it, uh, but here that uh, we have our effort, how that we uh, conduct uh, our foreign policy. One million friends, zero M. Okay, next. Economic diplomacy. In completing Indonesia's favorable national economic development, foreign policy is accepted through economic diplomacy. In this context, efforts to promote trade, investment, and tourism have become part of the focus to ensure tangible contribution to the current development effort. And we have specific focus in depicted through Indonesia's active participation in economic multilateral forums such as WTO, like uh, your country also, and then APEC, G20, G33, and other regional and international relations. What is the purpose? Of course, the purpose is to further promote the interests of Indonesia. Women and equality. This is the heat. We have a, we used to have a lady that tried to uh, promote gender equality. That is Ibu Kartini or Mrs. Kartini. Yeah, this is the picture. She is the pioneer actually. She tried to open the horizon of uh, women that they are equal to men. They have to have an education similar to them. They have to have opportunities similar to them. Yeah. Next. And also Devi Sartika from West Java. Right? Women and equality. We have improved in terms of gender equality. And we try to involve more, more and more women to the political activities in Indonesia. As I mentioned, that uh, we have we used to have a, a women president, and nowadays we have four ministers in our cabinet: Minister of uh, Tourism and Economic Creative, 
Minister of uh, National Development, Bapenas, Minister of Health, and Minister of Women Empowerment. Four ministers. Right? Uh, if we refer to how Indonesia tried to be a, as a democratic country, to also uh, invite other nations, other, other countries, to uh, see what is the progress in Indonesia and how, to, uh, uh, how we maintain the democracy, we can have such a forum to have uh, a sense of views and we host the sixth assembly, the World Movement for Democracy in Jakarta in the year of 2010. But we are the country that uh, uh, initiated to establish Bali Democracy Forum or BDF since 2008. And it holds every year annual uh, uh, forum. What is Bali Dem Democracy Forum? It is an inclusive and open forum to discuss how to build and consolidate democracy in the Asian region. We try to uh, uh, invite countries that they belong. When we talk about democracy, it is not a kind of sensitive issue, but it, it is the issue that we should discuss further to make us better and better in, govern, uh, in governing the country. And then the aim is to promote regional and international cooperation in the field of democracy and political development amongst countries in Asia. Okay, next. Here are the, the activities of the uh, Democracy Forum. There are so many observers and uh, 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 the, uh, the members are, uh, I mean uh, the, the, the forum were attended by 32 countries from ASEAN and South Asia, Lebanon, Papua, Papua New Guinea, China, and New Zealand. And the second uh, Bali Democracy Forum was held in December 2009, and uh, the latest one was in 2011. Next. Okay, next. We, we have a very uh, positive role in ASEAN, you know ASEAN, the regional uh, organization in Southeast Asia. We are one of the founding fathers uh, in 1967. And uh, in the year of 2011, we were as a chairman of ASEAN. We take them with other 10 uh, ASEAN member countries. Yeah, 2011, and we uh, conducted, uh, convened so many meetings, uh, such as ASEAN summits, and related summits. There are ASEAN, ASEAN East Asia, and ASEAN United Nations summits, held in November, 19 November 2011. And the president of the Republic of Indonesia is as a chairman of ASEAN. And there are nine achievements, if I may say. Yeah, next. There are nine main achievements, how to, uh, to uh, uh, maintain uh, uh, the, the, the activities of ASEAN. First, how to strengthen the three pillars of ASEAN community. There are three pillars, ASEAN political, political community, ASEAN economic, community and ASEAN and social culture community. We have to strengthen, we have to improve it, and we have to maintain it. And how to strengthen the regional economic growth? And thirdly, to assume a pivotal role in building a more efficient and effective architecture, architecture for regional cooperation, and how to maintain Southeast Asia regional stability and security. Next. There are five until nine also, the achievement. You can see there how to strengthen the role of ASEAN globally. 
joint efforts to strengthen the economy of East Asia uh, region and also platform, real, real action developed platform uh, in terms of uh, in the framework of food, water and energy security as well as climate change. We have uh, we achieved joint efforts to address non-traditional security challenges such as national disasters, terrorism, and transnational crimes. Number nine is joint efforts to maintain peace, security, and stability, and in order to have East Asian region in a peaceful uh, uh, in, uh, atmosphere. Here are the culture of Indonesia. So, uh, 350 ethnic groups, 580 languages and dialects. But we are bound into one. That is uh, because we have a uh, uh, Okay, Next. Yes. And Saman dance. Tomorrow there will be Saman dance. And also Papua dance. Please come, students. If you have time, because we will be having tomorrow the a kind of an Indonesian cultural night. Yeah, you can you can ask uh, uh, the the the, uh, uh, the uh, venue, yeah, to Pak Jahardi, Mr. Jahardi, please come. Yeah, you can see that dancing, uh, songs, sings. Yeah, uh, there is a, a pop a, a pop singer from Indonesia, Leo uh, Mokodonte. Dancing, singing, and any other kind of uh, cultural performance. Yes, in traditional instruments also. We introduced to you because uh, we want that you can have more and more uh, uh, knowledge about Indonesia, not only in the more political, economic, and, but also in the cultural uh, uh, that we have. Next. Here are the temple, the Saki temple, Borobudur temple. You ask Borobudur, this is Borobudur temple. Huh? It is famous. Yeah, next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that. Yeah, okay. These are uh, tourism, activity in the tourism. We have the, uh, the most uh, 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 interesting. Uh, 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 place uh, we call it Raja Ampat Diving Papua in Papua and Sengigi Beach, uh, Lombok. Now we come to the uh, relations between Indonesia and Georgia. Yeah? We have uh, our honorary consul, Dr. Uh, George Pakazi, uh, appointed by our president. Yeah, uh, in the year of 2010. In the year uh, of uh, 1993, we, Indonesia and Georgia, signed yeah, the joint communique concerning the establishment of diplomatic relations between the government of Repu the Republic of Indonesia and the government of, the, of Georgia. That you don't know. Republic of Georgia, yeah, but just Georgia. Yeah. And the first Indonesia and Georgia bilateral consultation forum had in Tbilisi uh, in 2007, 22nd of February. Our two countries actively support each other candidacy in international forum, such as the Council of International Communication Union, ITU, that's the period and also uh, Human Rights Commissions and Human Rights Council. Next. Yeah. Trade volume. From January to December 2011, we reached about 41,691,000 US. Yeah. Increase 0 0.7 something, 98%. Uh, percent. Two sides are in the process of negotiating several economic and trade-related agreements, including draft agreement on avoidance of double taxation and draft agreement in mutual administrative assistance in custom matters. We are 
in the process of finalizing the uh, agreement. And we wish to have also uh, the education agreement. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, especially with your university. Uh, yeah. Will be. Will be. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay, next. Here are the address of the Indonesian Embassy. Yeah, website and email address. Uh, and thank you very much. Give me much. No, no, oh. I mean, oh, the host. Oh, oh, the main problem of yeah. our country, yeah. in governing our country? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, we fight for corruption, uh -huh. nepotism. Yeah? We fight for uh, the system that not uh, quite uh, proper to be implemented in nowadays situation. Oh, and we try to give uh, welfare to our people, of course. 242 million people is not easy yeah, to make them happy, to make them uh, to have uh, their uh, um, what is it, welfare. And uh, I think uh, we have also the same problem with countries that uh, try to hold democracy, like Georgia, for example. We admire Georgia for their uh, reform uh, since uh, 2004. You are successfully, uh, uh, um, what is it, uh, overcome uh, uh, corruption. I remember at that time that we heard that you fired 30,000 police, uh, policemen just to make uh, the, uh, the, the, the system in, in, uh, in police, national police better. Yes, 30,000 police are were fired and then you we are yes and then you uh, start to uh, what is it to not to hire yeah uh, yeah yeah let's say to hire uh, uh, to to change with the new blood uh, uh, fresh blood young young please uh, but this that is that was the start of your uh, your effort yeah, to make the country better. And then it was followed by other uh, uh, government systems. First is the police system, police system uh, national police system, and then followed by other systems. We have the same thing. The most difficult problem, of course, you know already that we are facing a problem in, in, problem in terrorism. And then narcotic, what is it? In AIDS, in everything. Yeah? So the, the most uh, problem we have is how to encounter terrorism. We have our uh, uh, 88, uh, we have a, a, a group of uh, 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 anti-terrorism. Uh, yeah. Then uh, the Tasman 88, we call it, I don't know in English. Special, 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 uh, a special group uh, for combating uh, terrorism. That is the main problem. We are still having that kind of problem. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> uh, how one uh, will, uh, if, if somebody wants to travel to mm -hmm. Indonesia, yeah. how you can get visa, what are the procedures, where you can get visa? Okay. It's very easy. You can uh, ask our honorary consul 
to assist you, and we can give you to uh, we can expedite the process of visa, not more than three months. Yeah, yeah, Pak Jahadi. Yeah. Is possible to get it here, Paul? Uh, we, you have to send it to Kiev. Yes. I suggest. I'm very sorry. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And you can go through the travel agency also. It is easy. Pa, pa, uh, Mr. Pakasudar. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's quite easy to get a visa. Yeah. Very easy. <coughs> You have more than 70,000 items. Yes, 70,000. And uh, 580 yeah. languages. Yes. How many channels do you have in your television? Our television, <laughs> we have a lot. Many channels. More than 20 channels. Local channels and national channels. But we have, we have TVRI, national channels. Yeah. Indonesian television national channels. Yeah. TVRI, television of Nepal. Any other questions? No more? No more? About the yes. uh, establishment of the relations and cooperation with any of your famous universities will be, mm -hmm. will be interested. Yes. And, uh, I think that uh, we have area studies at our university, mm -hmm. and uh, we teach the Asian languages. Mm -hmm. So it will be interesting for us yes. the cooperation uh, with the University of Indo Indonesia. Yes, yes. It's so famous it's university. university. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I will do the utmost. Yeah. To uh, make dream come. <laughs> okay, not not quite a long, I think. Yeah, yeah. because uh, we are also uh, in the process of having kind of umbrella actually, yeah. education agreement. But I think we can do it later on. But before, don't wait until the umbrella is formed. Yeah. But we can do it now. Yeah, uh, we need that actually. We can have an exchange of visits. Uh, director visit, uh, lecturer visit, or, or students visit. Yes, uh, exchange. Uh, yes, exchange program. program. And we have a Dharma Siswa program. Scholar, we have uh, that is a scholarship that we gave to the students of Georgia. Yes. Yeah, uh, we can offer it. Uh, I think this this year we can we already offer to to most of the universities in Georgia. We offer the scholarship for one year. For one year. Yes, to study Indonesian and Indonesian and yeah, Indonesian language and culture. One year. You mean Malay language? No, Indonesian language. Malaysia. Yeah, it, it is different than Malay. Yes. Malaysian language. So we can offer it. Uh, yeah, we can give it the, the information. We wish that we could have also from from Georgia, from Ukraine. We have a lot, but from Georgia is none, because actually yeah, every year we we we, uh, we offer uh, that kind of uh, scholarship. Oh, for the for the year of 2012, we have one students from Georgia. Wow. Yeah, it is uh, it is good. <laughs> Bravo. Good beginning. Yeah, good beginning. Good starting. Yeah. But uh, in Singapore yes. and uh, Malaysia yeah. and uh, Indonesia, yeah. the Malay language is spoken. Yes, yes. spoken. Yes, spoken. different dialect actually. Yeah. But principally, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the, the language is almost the same. Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure. No more. Albert, Thank you. All right, student uh, I would like to thank you for your attention, uh, attention for your attendance to our to my presentation. I hope that it can uh, broaden your knowledge, of especially in uh, Indonesian, uh, in, yeah, in Indonesian uh, uh, system, uh, political, economic, social, and cultural system. As I uh, uh, just, I'm just. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, explained, explained to you.
And uh, we are still having one uh, a presentation, video presentation. Please don't leave this room. Afterwards, we would like to invite you for a portion, like the dinner, to taste our Indonesian food. And once again, thank you very much. Thank you very much.